Morning babes, so welcome back to a new vlog. Today is Monday and we are actually snowed in today because it snowed so freaking much. Like I took Nyla out. The snow was like, I'm not even joking you, like it's pretty much up to my knees. So I stuck my foot in and I was like, is this even real? And Nyla starts walking and she just sinks in the snow. And she's looking at me so confused, like, why am I all the way in the deep? Like, and then she had to, like, literally leap like a frog. Like, that's how much snow there is today. I actually ordered a chair, you guys, from Wayfair that I shared on um, my IG page. But now I have the home decor page, if you guys don't know about um, my new page. It is Aesthetic Collection. So basically, it's my page where I'm going to be sharing all my home decor. So I'm not really going to be sharing home decor on my personal that much, to be honest. Like... It might show up or whatever, but like my focus now is like home decor is going to go on the other page. So if you guys love my decor that you see in my videos and um, you want a page where kind of it's all right there, it's going to be on that page. I'll leave it down below for you guys. So you can just click it. Just been enjoying showing you guys inspo, sharing things that I've got. For example, like the accent chair that I got from Wayfair. At first when I opened it, I was like, please like don't be an ugly freaking like cream yellow. It kind of did come like that. But then when it's like near my window in the natural light, it's like such a pretty creamy white. But then, honestly, you guys, the fabric on it, like, I'm not gonna lie, it's just very cheap. And it's that type of boucle that, like, if someone scratches it, for example, like Nyla, like, if she just does one scratch, like, the coil, like, it's, like, undone. And then it becomes, like, uncoiled and just, like, straight and almost looks like a pull. But my thing with Wayfair is I find that, like, there's beautiful stuff on there, don't get me wrong. But one, I find a lot of the stuff is way overpriced. This chair, for example, I posted the US link and I think for you guys it's like $500 or something. I paid like nine something for this chair because when it converts, it's crazy in Canadian, okay? But everywhere else, like a club tub chair like this is like $1,500, $1,600, $3,000 from um, CB2, not even $3,000, freaking $3,300. Like, but I'm not gonna lie, this is like at the quality that you would find a chair in Home Sense for like. $300 like my sofa is really well made and I can't be having my chair like shitty quality because like I paid like a pretty much a grand for you like that's just insane and at the back you guys at the bottom the lining was opening up and there was pieces of wood literally like very thin sheets of square pieces of wood that they used I guess to block the corners that were like coming out so I emailed them I'm like Guys, I sent photos and like this is just not acceptable for what I paid. Say it's very creamy ivory and don't say that it's white because white is white and ivory is ivory. Because I will say with Wayfair though, their customer service is like top, 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 top tier. Okay, like very, very good. But guess what? Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. We're going to go from a negative point of view to a positive point of view. It's another chair that I was eyeing from article, but it was not exactly what I wanted. I like how this one's nice and round, but then I'm like, you know what? Maybe it's just meant to be because these chairs I find like everyone has the round tub chairs, whereas like the different shapes, people don't have it as often. And I do like to have what not every, every, every single person has or what you see all the time too much. This is my third order with Article and I really like them. I don't know if they're a Canadian company, but I think they are. I'm not, if I'm not mistaken. Actually, no, this is probably my fourth, fifth order with them. It's $200 cheaper than this freaking chair, first of all. I know the fabric for a fact because this fabric is the same fabric on my poof, my little ottoman stool. It's the same fabric. That's a way more durable boucle fabric. You guys wanna die? I was like, oh, I hope this thing comes quickly. Like, I just want this freaking chair. I ordered it last night at freaking 12 a.m. Like, no, it was actually 1 a.m. Actually, it was in my bed. I wake up to a text message saying like, we can deliver your chair tomorrow. Like, just confirm that you want it to get delivered. I'm like, I'm not gonna keep the legs that they have on it as well. I still need to go get a drill bit because I bought like a bun leg. A bun foot is basically like a, looks like a donut because I like my seat to be low. It also keeps everything very minimal. And even my sofa is straight to the floor and that's how I love it. You guys said that you didn't get to see Nyla in my other vlog. They said they didn't get to see you, mommy. You just showed them your face. Say, guys, aren't they so cute? Say hi, say bye-bye. <laughs> she always lifts her head for that. Say bye-bye. She's just a sleepy baby. She's so tired right now. She just wants to sleep with her mommy. She's 
So much. Mm. Mommy's gonna work and then you can sleep, okay? So this is what the coffee corner looks like right now just because I was trying to play around with things. Well, it looked different before, like the coffee was over there. But I ended up getting this, you guys, and I'm gonna see how I like it. It wasn't too cheap, to be honest. It's like this canister that's airtight as well because the um like oxygen will affect your coffee it'll like change the taste apparently and like how fresh it is and stuff like that so i wanted something that was tight because right now i have them in like these glass containers but something tells me one it's not tight and two they're also like a size where i feel like i do have to fill them up like every few days if i'm making mine at home which is kind of annoying you know what i mean so I'm like, let me get something. I also love, it comes with the spoon on the side, you guys. You can also put your own if you don't like this one, for example. Or if like your portion's smaller. I really love that as well. So I did get this off of Amazon. This is a mat that I was using prior to put my, um, like to fill up my, um, crap, what do you call this? Um, the portafilter? I ended up getting this mat instead. This is a proper mat, whereas like this was too big on the counter. The other thing I love about this one is that because it has this thing on the corn, um, like on the front so that it can stay on the counter, I love that with this shelf unit, I can just stick it over there and it's like out of my way, not always on my counter. The other thing I got was this shelf unit over here, but I was looking at a few of them and I also needed to check that the measurements weren't too big, weren't too small because this guy is not crazy small either. You know what I mean? So I needed it to like fit it. And right now I have my, you can also put yours up here, like, you know, the bags and stuff, but it doesn't look clean. So I don't like that. And I also have my second cup espresso when I want to make my lattes that taste like second cup. I use their regular espresso if you guys are curious. And I also have to request that they grind it for me because I don't have a um, bean grinder at my place. I use this when like the rest of the espresso is dripping. This is what I use for when I'm making my hot lattes and I want to froth my milk. This machine does come with a frothing wand on the side. I love this machine so much more than the Nespresso one, but like I said, this is for someone that likes to make their own espresso at home and kind of like has the patience to learn how to do it properly. This is not something where you can just put in a pod, you know what I mean? You have to put your own grind into here. And I have my little black spoon. Um, what I did, you guys, was I also have this microfiber towel and I'm kind of using the bottom shelf of this unit as like a drying rack because I'm always rinsing these cups right after I'm done. And then the towel will soak it up and I just keep washing the towel, right? Um, then I also have my tamper over here. I want to see if I can get a different arm on it because I'm sorry, the blue is just not, oh, the blue is just not the vibe. This is basically going to level out your espresso. So there's that. And I just had this tray before I had this and then I also have my syrup container this pump is from Ikea I don't remember the name but they're like 99 cents you guys I'm gonna clean all of this up and I'll show you guys what I end up doing with this area I feel like it opens up the space so much more so one of the main reasons why I decided to put it on the side over here is because this guy can look a little bit like almost like I feel like over here was kind of like a sore thumb like it just like stood out a little bit too much because it is large I decided to put the machine straight because I'm like when you're making like an espresso it's like really nice to just it's just very practical to work this way I, plus the other main reason is that when I'm making an actual like iced coffee or my lattes or whatever I feel like I have so much more room because this is open Whereas this was pushed over here because the shelving unit was back there. So I just want to go check out the reel on how I kind of did everything. I did post it on my aesthetic collection page if you guys want to go check it out. So this is the chair that I got. But I want to show you guys a close-up of what was kind of happening to the seat. I don't know if you guys can tell. Anyways, it's this type of boucle where it's like kind of like coily, right? But you see how like it can easily start to to lift like this. Ella was like scratching over here. I don't know if you guys can see, but like I can't be having that. Like after one scratch, like that's how it's gonna look. You know what I mean? It just looks really cheap and like really kind of fuzzy. Obviously it doesn't have the legs on it because like I said, I didn't want to um, install it. The size is great and everything and I do like the shape, but oh yeah, and she started sitting on it. Like she's so freaking funny. You me down, baby. Wow, what a good girl. Mommy, we're not gonna have this chair for too long. We're getting a new one. 
how freaking cute are these feet they're also unfinished which i love so what i'm gonna get to do is paint them whatever color i want i'm gonna match the fabric of the chair i'm not gonna do white because it's gonna stick out and i don't like that at all she looks really cute like these legs suit this so well it gives such a nice minimal vibe super cozy and like that chunky kind of look as i was craving something other than like chicken and beef i feel like i always eat that so i had these frozen tilapia fillets and i did a little test i've done this only one time before like fried up tilapia but i don't like to use a ton of oil and do it like the really bad way i know it tastes so good but there's just so much oil involved so what i did was one of them i lightly breaded it with some flour and put light oil and then this side had way more oil and it was still like battered the exact same way i literally i feel like the key with fish is to not only put the seasoning inside of the flour that you're going to be doing like the coating you have to season the fish first so i had them inside of a tray with salt garlic black pepper and garlic powder did i say that i just sit in the fridge for a few hours in the morning and then i got this glass container and i just put um i think this is i don't think it's whole wheat flour but i think it's just yeah it's just regular white flour but i put salt in here black pepper and garlic again so i also seasoned the flour I was gonna do egg and flour but i just decided to just skip that and i literally just like put them in here make sure they're coated flip it coat it again and then maybe do like two three times for each filet kind of snowing again today so i wanted to go out and grab some lemon because i love lemon on top of my fish it's so fire and then our rice literally just went off i was like oh i'm not gonna get to show with my rice because it's cooking I ended up making some rice i just put some parsley onion powder some salt black pepper turmeric and this is just regular long grain rice this is what the final plate looks like you guys so i took the most fried piece of fish because i haven't had it like this in such a long time like i said i typically don't do my like i don't really do a lot of fried foods at all i don't think i ever like really deep fry things um but i have my rice on the side some cucumber with some greek dressing on it and i put a little or a tablespoon of tzatziki and then my fish i'm so ready for this it tastes so good the fish was marinated so nice i feel like when i do this again i'm definitely gonna do it the same way if you guys want a little bit of a fish inspo i was just so tired of chicken and beef i needed something different and there's something just like refreshing about having fish sometimes i'm so in love with how my coffee table looks currently you guys it's just so fresh so clean i put some baby's breath and honestly for me like flowers lift up my mood and it just has always done so much for me so i definitely recommend if you guys are flower lovers there's nothing wrong with buying some for yourself make your space look very cozy and i just have the black pillar candle that i showed you guys i got from home sense i have a marble a ball actually that's not marble i think it's alabaster or something like that and then i have this marble little decor piece i have a tray and then just a vase that I can't remember where I got. But honestly, these vases, you can find them at Michael's. A lot of craft stores, dollar store. You would be so shocked. But I wanted to show you guys the new chair. I literally just finished um, painting up the legs. And I am actually doing a little reel on my home decor page. So it just adds this like modern, minimal look to it. Whereas before it was very mid-century. I mean, the shape of the chair is still very mid-century but the legs that came with them are a lot taller and they're angled and they're very like mid-century-ish felt like this was definitely more me and i wanted it to also be very low profile i actually don't have this chair placed here um i just put it here because one the light shows and also like it would just be dark and stuff like that i brought it over here to show you guys but i ended up matching the feet with the same paint color as basically the fabric because again keeping it very minimal and just one color I have a shop highlight on that page so a lot of my decor is actually linked on there and this ball pillow you guys did not come with the chair look how close the fabric color is like it's crazy there are two different fabrics so this one is more of a like i guess you can call it like a plain bouquet whereas this one's like a dual texture but this um pillow is actually from indigo i hope they still have it in stock these round ball pillows are so trendy right now again very modern very minimal they would look great in like even kids rooms um they just look very clean and just i love it i never thought that i would ever get like a ball pillow in my life but i love the way it looks i saw it on pinterest and i'm like oh my god it looks so clean so this chair is from article whereas my last one was from wayfair they actually picked it up and i got a full refund 
for my chair it's really easy to do returns with wayfair but i was just dying for that massive box to get out of my place so when the guy picked it up it just felt like oh my god this massive weight out of my place but the quality and the fabric is way more durable the other chair was like it was definitely a little bit smaller but also very light in weight which also tells you that the materials are also on the cheaper side whereas this one you can just tell is a lot more higher quality not top top tier but like a lot more higher quality this one she's gone on it plenty of times and it's like just holding up really nicely so i definitely recommend this chair if you guys want to know the color it's like a kind of like a buff creamy beige very 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 light uh, as you guys can see that's an ikea dresser so white compared to that it's like a very light beigey kind of color but you can easily install these legs onto any sofa you guys have to give it like that very mid-century nordic kind of vibe you guys can install it on chairs bed frames like anything there's so many things that you guys can do but i am so in love with this chair you guys i love just like looking at it while i'm sitting at night if i kind of want to be in the corner and like be on my phone I can do that as well and it's just like another piece and another like view that I can have in my place instead of just always being on my sofa but if you guys are looking for a really nice boucle chair I 1000% recommend this chair the other thing I actually painted and it's a really kind of good idea is I ended up getting these um, fan palms from HomeSense and they were like a greeny color I think I showed you guys anyways but I did kind of like a creamy wash to them, so they ended up coming out like this, like a lot lighter. This is such a great kind of spring addition to your place if you guys are not, if you guys are kind of like me, you don't want to introduce like color and a lot of greenery and like yellow flowers and pink flowers. Like I feel like spring, we see a lot of that and it's just not everyone's cup of tea. You know what I mean? Like I'm not going to have color in my place. Let's just be real. So I feel like this is kind of a very cute spring addition that you can add to your space to kind of make it look fresh and kind of get ready for the weather to start getting warmer. Thinking about that is like crazy because there's so much snow outside, but we are gonna be there in a few months, so it's kind of crazy. So this is a really quick DIY that you guys can do. Just add some water if you want to uh, make your paint a little bit more like see-through, and it'll just kind of be more of like a wash, or you guys can do like a solid color if you want. Like you can tell you can still see the green from underneath. But you can paint them white, you can paint them black, like you can do anything. Put them in your bathroom, put them in a vase in your bedroom. I'm not sure where I'm going to put this one yet. But I also want to do a reel, you guys. I'm so excited for where I take my coffee table and I do different setups to show you guys how you can like use different decor pieces and do different like styling techniques on your coffee table. So I just want to find a few more pieces so that I can do that for you guys. But yeah, this is just another quick DIY if you guys find some dried stems and you kind of want to make, give it like a little makeover and you're not really happy with the color that it is, you can easily just like give it like a paint wash to it. Nyla, did you tell them that you're getting a bath today? My sister's going to wash her today and I'm going to take her to Pet <laughs> I love when she's just with her bullet stick. She kills me, man. You're so beautiful, my amor. Wow. If I say the word wash, she gets excited because she actually loves going into the bathtub. Like, she freaking loves it. <laughs> I love you so much. Also, you guys, I'm going to be redoing this painting over here. I just have to go to the art store. I'm going to show you guys a little bit more of an overview. So, what I want to do is kind of make a larger oversized painting over here i feel like it's all about the oversized like artworks right now thinking like 40 by 40 so i already found the canvas i don't want to get one too thick because i want the frame to be able to have like some attachment at the back so the canvas needs to like be able to fit in there i'll probably do a reel on that too so i'm so excited so i can show you guys how to make your own paintings because these paintings run like a grand two grand like just super 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 expensive look at madison on this chair like doesn't she look so cute? Oh my god, I think I'm gonna have to take a pic with her on this chair. She looks so bougie on this chair. I mean, she's definitely the star of the show, but she looks great on this chair. I also wanted to let you guys know that I recently, some shows that I've watched, if you guys want show recommendations, if you're stuck inside, I finished Yellowstone, which is so good. I'm pretty sure another season's coming out, but this one just wasn't released like too long ago, so it's probably gonna be a while. I can't wait for Outlander to come out. I'm currently watching um, Chicago Med. It's like playing in the background. 
finished watching the new season of Ozark. It was really good too. Yellowstone was so interesting because it's so different from anything that I would typically watch. It's like very country, obviously. I loved it. Like now you get like so attached to the characters that you're like, okay, next season, like come on. There's like one more, but I'm forgetting it. But if you're just wanting a show to watch, watch Yellowstone. And I have been enjoying Chicago Med too. It's very like Grey's Anatomy. Like it's pretty much the same thing. But if you've watched all the Grey's seasons, which I have, I finished it, um, then you might like Chicago Med because it's like very similar. But right now I'm just like enjoying the sun coming through my bedroom because in about an hour I'm going to get ready to bring Nala to PetSmart. And then I'm also going to head off to HomeSense to see what they have there because I haven't been to the one at Heartland in a bit. And honestly, that one is usually like really good. But also because it's a very busy area, I find that like... You have to go very like i used to go all the time because they would keep restocking because it's just a very busy location but i love that one it's usually like very busy i like to go to more quiet home sense because of that i also want to pick up some white roses because you guys i'm gonna be filming a sheet in feature for you guys and also doing a post where i show you guys different valentine's day looks and I know what you're probably thinking, Steph, we're at home, like, we ain't getting dressed up. I honestly think we really need to start getting dressed up. I think even though you're going to be at home, if you are, depending where you're located, I know a lot of you guys that watch me, you're not stuck at home. So for you guys, I recommend whether you're staying at home or you're able to leave, get dressed up, enjoy the day, because it's time for us to start acting like things are back to normal. Like, I'm just tired of acting like it's not you know what i mean like oh why should i like get dressed up today and put on a cute outfit if i'm like just gonna be at home all day well go to the grocery store go pick up a book go do this go do that like live a normal life you know what i mean i think that's a huge part of staying sane during this time even if you're staying at home why should you not still make it special still get dressed up you're gonna be showing you guys some dressy dressy outfits and i'll also show you guys some like comfy but still cute but honestly like I would get dressed up that's just me like I would do that because like I said it's still a special day why should we let something take it away from us you know what I mean there's nothing wrong with still getting dressed up at home doing something special making the day special just because you can't go out does not mean you can't make it special at home so I'm gonna be doing that I wanted to get a bouquet of white roses because I want to incorporate it into some of the photos I'm going to be taking and of course it's all about the aesthetic but I'm also going to be taking some content for my home decor page. I love the outfits that I found and I can't wait to show you guys like different ones that you guys can do. I wanted to mention every time I go to HomeSense now if I do find pretty things I capture it on my phone and I've been doing like HomeSense like uh, reels basically like either a find or like home sense hauls i've done one so far on my home decor page you post those on there so i've really been enjoying uploading content to that page you guys like it's been it's something i decided to start early this year and i have been loving it i love the separation between that page and my own page it allows me to be creative in so many different ways whereas on my page i can only really be creative with my outfits and like me you know what i mean i definitely encourage you guys to do something that really makes you happy that maybe you've been like huh should i do something should i not just do it there's nothing to lose from it if you're happy, it doesn't matter how many views, likes, follows you get. Do it because it makes you happy. You know what I mean? People will genuinely see that in you. Basically, for this vlog, you guys, hopefully you guys enjoyed. I'm so happy I showed you guys my chair. I really wanted to share it with you guys. If you guys are not subscribed, make sure you do. Click the bell so you guys get notified. And also follow on both of my IG pages down below in the description box. Thank you guys so much for watching. And I will see all of my beautiful babes in my next video.